this is a fresh install of windows 11 and we all know windows 11 comes with many bloat and many privacy related thingies that we usually don't like so we're gonna optimize debloat and make it more private by using a new tool called bloaty nosy the next gen debloat app you may ask why is this the next gen debloat app because this app is made by the same guy who made this app called This is Win 11, another Windows 11 optimization tool. So these two apps are kind of similar and made by the same guy, but it looks like This is Win 11 tool is no longer in active development and he's just focusing on bloaty nosy and it, it is also as good as if not better than the This is Win 11. And you can see this was updated just 19 hours ago and you can also get this app from Microsoft Store too. So it looks like developer of this app is actually trying to make this a huge thing and you can also get this from official website built by bell.com and also from github so let's download this from microsoft store i think he recently launched the microsoft store version so there are no downloads yet and there are no reviews so let's just download it never mind there are a couple of reviews actually so yeah get it from wherever you want microsoft store or github or official website once it's downloaded it's going to create a desktop shortcut i'm just going to open this up this is actually really simple to use there are not too many options to confuse you you can just go analyze windows 11 or down at the bottom there is option i want to set up windows 11 for the first time it will give you a tutorial or at least a suggestion how you should set up your windows 11 after you fresh install it so you can go through that or you can just go to analyze windows 11 which will analyze all the bad things that are in windows 11 for example the bloatwares you know unwanted apps and some settings that you should turn off so you can see it's quick on analyzing and it says there are 38 features we don't like and which should be fixed so you can go to details if you go to details you can uh, see what are the problems and you can also uncheck the options that you don't want to change this is actually a very well made app and it gives a really good description on what the option does so for example disable diagnostic data so basically if you have it turned on microsoft is just spying on you by collecting your data and if there is something that you don't like to enable or disable then you can just simply uncheck for example i don't want to enable the windows subsystem for linux because i don't want to use but if i want to then i'm gonna turn it on or i can actually you know manually turn on the windows subsystem for linux so yeah i'm just gonna select on fix and apply fixes so i'm gonna hit yes and now it will open the terminal then you may have to type here yes or no you know so just sit back relax and watch your windows 11 change in front of you you don't have to do anything and after a few minutes check your windows 11 it's gonna be dark mode it will enable the dark mode by default because this app thinks that dark mode is better and you'll see less bloatwares in your start menu and many apps will be gone that comes with windows 11. you may see some of the apps like whatsapp netflix these are hyperlinks they are not actually apps once you click on these links then it will actually download so you can simply go and uninstall them manually because as i said again they are not an actual apps and check this out now it looks clean and i also recommend you guys to restart your pc once you apply these changes because some of the settings that this app applies to the system may require a restart so it's always a good thing to just reboot your system and you can easily undo all the changes by one click simply click on that fix button and click on restore default state just like that and hit yes and everything will go back to normal you may have to download some apps manually like the onedrive 
it uninstalled the OneDrive, but once you restore everything, it opens up the Microsoft's website where you can download the OneDrive. Same goes for some other apps, for example, Windows Web Experience app. You may have to just install it manually. And yeah, now we have everything normal, back to normal. Even the uh, white theme is here. The apps that it uninstalled, they won't come back. You have to manually download them, but all the settings, all the changes it made will get back to normal. So if we analyze this one more time, you can see we have those problems one more time and we can also click on this option. You can see these are the things that we can disable or enable one more time. So this is actually like the best, you know, debloating app ever made simple easy to use and you can just undo everything that you did with your system and you know you don't even have to worry about that everything is here you can see what are the changes it is going to apply to our system and they all are actually good and makes sense most of the things we can also do manually but you know it takes time and maybe we won't be able to find those settings even if we look for them so yeah uh, that's it. You guys are smart. I know. I don't need to explain each and everything. But still, if you have any questions or have any suggestions, you can always do the comment and we can have some chit chat in the comment section too. Yeah, that's it. Hope you enjoyed it. I will see you in the next one. Take care of yourself and have fun. Bye bye.